Hello. Okay. Okay, so I'm a fraud hexter. After this introduction, I don't need to say any more. Um, I want to speak to you about the Watson API services and how can you apply, apply them to your application. So let's start. A brief history. Watson started as a challenge project to the research team. Can we build a machine, a software, that can understand natural language and can compete in the game, in the trivia game Jeopardy? And five years later, 2011, live TV, again, this top two contestant of all time, Watson wins. Wow, very big buzz. Then they take the same technology, apply it to health, a Watson Oncology Advisor, and another, it was a su successful project. And I'm gonna fast forward to 2014. And they decides, IBM decides, okay, we're gonna continue to build domain specific uh, application with Watson and to enhance Watson but we're gonna also open the technology. Let the people bring their own use cases, idea, your, your, their own expertise in their domains, and just use the technology. So we, before we just jump a little to the technology, I wanna show you, there's no presentation without a video, so I just wanna show you two quick videos. Bob Dylan, to improve my language skills, I've read all your lyrics. You've read all of my lyrics. I can read 800 million pages per second. That's fast. My analysis shows your major themes are that time passes and love fades. Well, that sounds about right. I have never known love. Maybe we should write a song together. I can sing. You can sing? Do be bop, be bop a do. Do be do be do. Do, do, do be do. Let's try opening up a little. I can't be open like Watson. Watson has open APIs. Watson works with thousands of developers. People scare me. Well, you're opening up to me. <gasps> Wait, you're a person? This is not real, this is not real. Find your happy place. Find your happy place. Okay. Find it. So this is, uh, there were two commercials, and the first one, I, I wanted to present it because you can see in 30 second video, few of the services. So first of all, Bob Dylan speaks, so there is a speech recognition service. Then Watson speaks back, so there is text-to-speech. There is also conversation. Now it's very in, all the chatbots uh, services, so there is a conversation service. Also, you see that Watson says that he knows what the lyrics are about, so there is another service that can understand text and can extract concept, keywords, relationship, entities, etc. So just quick, quick wish are the services. And the second video, it's something that I'm very excited as a developer, is that you don't need to have PhD in machine learning or to be an expert in natural language. You could just think of, a, of an idea and just use the Lego pieces, the building blocks, and build it. So let's say I want to build it. So it's going to be a little challenging to do it with one hand holding the mic and another hand trying to build, but I'll try. Okay, so the first thing I go to, there is a Watson Developer Cloud resources. I can go here to, to see all the services that are out there. First, I'm gonna go here, I wanna go to conversation. In every service, it's the same way. There is documentation you can read about, and there is a demo. So let's go first for the, for the demo. Here we're gonna see uh, a demo, something that's going to help us. It's a continuation uh, about the previous talk. Going to help us driving. Uh, going to help us while we're driving. Of course, we need not to text it, but here I'm going to I'm going to just use text and not speak. Okay. So let's say. I Hi. It looks like a nice drive today. Okay. What would you like me to do? So let's say I want to turn on the light. So I need to type in with one hand, it's a little bit, uh, but okay. Oh. I understand you want me to turn on something. <laughs> okay. You can say turn on the wipers or switch on the lights. Sorry, I didn't finish. Okay, turn on the light. Okay, turning on the lights. Okay, so that was 
not really conversation, but was more simple. I just spoke in natural language, texted in natural language, and we performed something. Now I'm gonna ask him something and we'll see a follow-up question. So let's say, uh, turn on the radio. Okay. Sure thing. Which genre would you prefer? Jazz is my personal favorite. Okay, so I'll use jazz, I don't care so much. Oops. Great choice. Playing some jazz music for you. Okay, and uh, just another, we'll give another example, we'll stop there. But here, I just wanna say, um, I need to eat. I need to eat, it's not that I want to eat, I need to eat. Uh, let's say, uh, let's see if he's gonna scope. Of course. Okay. And then he's do you have a specific me. cuisine in mind? So I'm gonna ask, uh, what do you have? What do, uh, where is the, where is the why here? <laughs> Different, uh, oh, it's Z. <laughs> what do you have? German, I think you're the okay, and and that is. I see a few nearby restaurants serving tacos, burgers, seafood, not, and I'm pasta. I, I'm you can select one of these. Okay, so I'm not going to continue, but we saw here a few things, and I want to tell you under the hood what we see. So there, first of all, it's what API, what API calls conversation. Conversation is it's really building a chatbot, and under the hood there is three legs to building a conversation. Of course, there is more, but the basics are three. One, it's intense. You can train Watson to the intense you want, uh, you want to, to manage. So here, it was turning on something, finding something. I, I have turned off something, and there's other questions, you can train it. So that's one thing, intense. The other thing is entities. I, when I said turn on the radio or turn on the light, it's the same intent, just the entity is different. And there is predefined entities, or open entities, and we're not going to go into it right now. We can have a all day just on building a chatbot. And the third thing is the dialogue. It's really the conversation, and just and that is a rule-based, more like decision tree. You do this. If you say that, I'm going to reply like this. If you say that, I'm going to reply like that. And it can have more smartness and use context and everything. Again, we're not going to go into it, but everything is, you can do it visually. You don't need to program even to build a chatbot. Okay, so we, we saw the demo. We did a little bit. We, we saw that we like it. Let's now, I want to modify the code. I'm not going to modify the code right now. I'm just going to show you another minute. How do you, how do, you do it? So I can open this code in GitHub. Uh, okay, so for, for example, I'm gonna go now to GitHub, there is, I can see the code. I can see the most important thing in that code is the training. So I have the training data, I can load it to my visual tool and I can see all the things I, talk, I told you about before, intents, entities, and the dialogue itself. I can deploy it locally or I can deploy it uh, onto Bluemix. Bluemix is the IBM cloud platform. I'm gonna Deploy to Bluemix because I did that before and it's just faster. So here I have my dashboard and you can see I have an application. It was a Node.js application so the SDK was deployed for me. And uh, the most important thing that was provisioned for me, it's the service, the conversation service. And after I created that, the only thing I want to show you right now is the environment variable. I get a username, password, URL. From then, I can connect to it from everywhere, from my laptop, from any cloud platform, and of course, from Bluemix. And it's all API, and in the documentation, there is Node.js, Java, Curl, and Python. Okay, so we saw the basic how to start a conversation, and again, if we'll go back to, to the Watson uh, Developer Cloud, so we can see here more services. And also some starter kits, and the starter kits already have application with few APIs together and with their code uh, together, so it's very useful and you can play with it. Okay, back to the presentation. 
So here is live example of, of people that used a conversation to their use. So there is retail, there is a physician to get relevant information for health, there is insurance. I like uh, this, the go moment example. There, there was a, a hotel chain that the guests weren't happy with the service. They saw it in the survey at the end. And uh, so they built, go moment built this hotel chain uh, application, a solution that when you go to the room, you get a text, is everything okay? So you could say, yes, everything is okay, or oh, I'm missing two towels. When you say you're missing two towels, first of all, it's routed to the person that in charge of the towels and should bring you the towels. And then you get a follow-up uh, text message, did you get your towels? And then you could say yes, no, or you could say, until what time is breakfast? So this question, until what time is breakfast, you don't need anyone, you don't need a person really to answer it. So this have automatic responses already, until what time is breakfast, and you can ask more things that you don't need human to do, like uh, until what time checkout, is there anything interesting to do, weather, etc. So the hotel chain were very happy with the solution. First of all, the guests were happier, but also they got more efficient because they tracked all the data and so where do they need, where they need to improve. So that was that. And of course, I love toys. And you can use that, of course, in toys and games. And you can think of another, other ideas. So we talked about conversation. And again, when I'm saying conversation, it's, it's dev, like the realms is very deep. You can do very simple natural language. You can, you can do hand-holding and simple tasks. You can, do, you can do really conversation for expert system to help you like physician to, to help you pick the right treatments and more. And you can see it in law, you can see it in the, in the finance. So the realms is very big and from toys and games. Other services and uh, you can add to conversation and also use by itself. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go over all the services, just a few APIs. So there is Retrieve and Rank. So first of all, how you, Retrieve and Rank is a, is a service that helps helps you retrieve the relevant information when you have a lot of data. So it's a support or, or any other use case like that. And a lot of time you add it to conversation. It's like when Siri doesn't know what to do, it falls on the internet. So this is your domain specific internet. So you, you build your uh, domain specific internet, use conversation more for the frequently asked question. And when it falls, it falls on retrieve and rank. Another service that a lot of people, oh, again, they can use it, you can use it in data insight application and you can use that in, in a conversation application is tone analyzer. It's not the tone of your voice, it's tone of your text. So you can understand if a person is angry, is happy, maybe if it's a self-service, uh, I don't know, support, if he's angry, maybe I'm gonna transfer him to, to the manager or something like that. You, for reputation, uh, there is there's other companies that scan the internet for reputation for companies, so they use that tone analyzer to know what people said on the company, on the products, uh, et cetera. And the, they have, you can see, again, in the, in the site that I showed you, it has a lot of attributes, not only happy, sad, uh, there is more. The same thing, very similar personality insight. This is, analyzes your personality, it needs more data, but again, you could use it in conversation or just as another uh, segmentation on, uh, on, on human, and now it's very in uh, to segment us. Uh, so that's another, another service. Natural language classifier. Very easeable, trainable, really in an hour you can, you can get to great results. Uh, you, can, you can train uh, Watson to which text like the text you want and the class you want to do it. So for example, for a use case, and of course, there's a, there's a lot of use cases. Let's say you want to classify your CRM, your support text, and to route it to the right person, for example, or to know priorities, or to know is, is, it, is it classified information or not. So you can train Watson to whatever classes you want it to be. In Excel, very easy, very, uh, very easy, I like this uh, API, five minutes, ooh. Okay, uh, Watson Alchemy Language. A lot of people use it to scan a lot of text, a text let's say recommendation, like Outbrain, Taboola, uh, these, these kinds of people use 
not this service exactly, but kind of uh, this is what they need. It's, it's extraction, extracting text, uh, extracting text. So entity, relationship, uh, keyword concept, and there is out of the box model, and you can train it to your uh, domain uh, specific. And we talked about only text, so uh, Watson also can see. And you can, there is visual recognition, there is the out of the box. That's uh, just image tagging. I think, uh, yeah, we, we saw that before also. And there is also custom training. So a lot of people use it in manufacturing, security, uh, and more to use uh, visual recognition. Health, of course. And you can see there is uh, much more, and I didn't go over all of them. Just another, another use case that I'm going to let your imagination uh, uh, think more. We have speech to text, and text to speech, and translation. So a lot of the call centers, people uh, do uh, speech to text, and then like live, uh, uh, use the other APIs we spoke before, and it can give you the next best action to do for the agents. Or to see if it's, oh, the tone is very bad, tell them, oh, go to be careful, speak. Uh, speak the right words, uh, etc. So I hope I uh, spark your curiosity and uh, enjoy, enjoy playing with it. In another note, related and not related, uh, we have the, in IBM in Israel, it's the only accelerator in IBM. We have IBM AlphaZone, and it's, uh, we're just starting the uh, class fifth registration. So there's people in the back from IBM and you can come to me for more information. And here, in this link, you can get uh, more information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.